Benton. Tonight's bouts are under the auspices of the Mississippi State Athletic Commission. The chairman is the Honorable Billy Lyons. The chief deputy commissioner is Sal Taranto. All bouts are scored under a 10-point must system. The standing eight count and three knockdown rules are in effect. Your ring officials assigned by the Mississippi State Athletic Commission. Your ringside physicians are Dr. T.K. Ellis and Dr. Lance Barnes. Your judges at ringside working on a rotation basis, Chester Como, Elmo Adolph, C.D. Jenkins, and Robert Williams. Your timekeeper this evening is the talented ringside working on a rotation basis, Chester Como, Elmo Adolph, C.D. Jenkins, and Robert Williams. Your timekeeper this evening is the talented David Taranto. And counting for the knockdowns at the bell is gentleman George Creel, Jr. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds heavyweights. Your referee for this event from Folsom, Louisiana, Paul Sita. Introducing the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the black trunks with white lettering. He weighs in at 236 and one half pounds. His professional record, 12 victories, five defeats. He has seven knockouts. He hails from Bristol, Tennessee. Here is Kenny Smith. Smith. His opponent, Wearing the gold trunks with red lettering, he weighs in at 234 pounds. His professional record, 12 victories, one defeat, one draw with eight knockouts. He makes his home in Phoenix, Arizona, but he hails from Gulfport, Mississippi. Here is Obed Sullivan. Sullivan, eight rounds, heavyweights. All right, gentlemen, y'all were giving you instructions this afternoon. you have any questions? One question. His trunks are real hard. What will you call him? Right there. Okay, thank you. Shake hands down and come out, box. Obed Sullivan, who is now ranked the number 12 heavyweight in the world, according to the IBF, with a record of 12-1-1, one one, bursting on the scene with a couple of upsets. One back in June against then 12 and 1 Curtis Shepard, the IBF Intercontinental title. And Obed was scheduled in as the opponent for that fight. And one big left hook knocked out Shepard in the first round. And then he followed up with another victory in his defense of that Intercontinental title over 13 and 1 Thomas Williams, taking Williams out in the fourth round. So Obed Sullivan right now pushing the top 10 in the IBF, and he goes up against Kenny Smith in the black trunks, who is 12 and five with seven knockouts. He's keeping his distance from that right hand of Sullivan. Smith, who is not known to take a solid punch. He's been down only seven times in his career, including twice by the light hitting Buster Mathis in what turned out to be a 10-round decision for Mathis. So uh, Kenny Smith looking for his shots against Sullivan, who's in very much the underdog in this fight. Right hand. In that fight with Buster Mathis, as you mentioned earlier, Al, he said that was his first 10-rounder. He says, the fight was very close. However, the judges oh, did not say that. Oh, wait on, son. Don't wait Obed Sullivan, who's fighting out of Phoenix, is originally from the East Parts, a native of Gulfport, Mississippi. He had only 18 amateur fights, served in the Marines for eight years. A very physically strong young man, but still learning the art of boxing, still polishing his skills, and a very slow start here in round number one. Yeah, a slow start that would probably favor Obed Sullivan. Kenny Smith said tonight he was going to get in the face of Sullivan. He said, get in there and get it on. He said, I'm going to jump right on him. 
and going to try to finish every round strong. He's giving too much room to Sullivan. Sullivan has a, quite a powerful left hook. Get the jab, Washington. Right back with the jab. Dangerous one punch knockout power by Sullivan. Get it. And he is uh, yet to load up punch in, in this first round. Right Nine pounds heavier than his last fight at 234 pounds is Sullivan. Maybe a little bit slow because of that. And Kenny Smith, uh, a couple of pounds even heavier than that. But he's five pounds lighter than his last fight. All right, final 10 seconds of round number one. Scheduled for eight. And that will be in the round one. A round, ladies and gentlemen, that will never, ever see the light. The electronic day. During the Ricky Jackson fight, we got to keep our eye on uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seconds out. We approach the second round. <laughs> round two. Round number two, heavyweights, Obed Sullivan in the gold trunks. 12-1-1 one, one with eight knockouts. And Kenny Smith in the black trunks comes in at 12-5 and five with seven KOs. Smith from Bristol, Virginia. And Obed Sullivan, who uh, grew up in these parts, Gulfport, Mississippi, now living in Phoenix. And with him, brings into the ring the 12th ranking in the world, according to the IBF. That right hand up, knock that down. First three minutes of this fight, a couple of fighters pretty much sleepwalking walking up on it. Walking up on it. with some crisp jabs looking to open it up. And Kenny Smith with a big right walking hand deflected down. easily. Smith looks to have very little power in that That's shot. It, Keep that right hand up. There is the jam again by Sullivan, trying to move a little more into range. Yeah, and see the effects of it on Kenny Smith. Now, giving more room. Smith said, I'm going to get in there and get it on. He didn't do it in the first round, and he's not going to do it here in the second round. And I'll tell you why he's not going to do it. Why is that? He's not going to do it because he's hasty. Oh, there's a good shot. Snap the head back of Sullivan. Snap that Smith again. Is Sullivan just studying? He's looking for that perfect angle to Kenny Smith. Now put that body inside. And uh, Sullivan has not thrown many right hands. Right hand. Now, did he hurt the right hand? Right hand. Schedule eight rounder. Open right Sullivan right, right number twelve in the world. And he's still fighting. Get the jab, keep up. That's a surprise. Keep up, son. But I'm sure he says he would be ready for 12 rounds. Get the jab out there, son. There you go. There's that right hand again. Now, Smith's right hand, champ, is uh, connecting, but has no effect whatsoever. Right hand when it's open, not closing the fist. What the better, John? Not a shot to the body. Slap punch from him and scoring, though. But. Look how Obed Sullivan is getting down behind his punches. Really getting down hard. Never let your opponent get under you. He's working, Smith. And he is bending over, digging the body. Look at that. But I, I think you're right. He has more power on that left hand now because right hand may be hurt. Double it up to the body. Double it up. Oh. Punching blow downstairs. But now it's uh, Obed Sullivan jamming the left, fouling with some power on the left hand. Closing seconds of number two. The bell, the end of round two. Grand Casino. 
You got it. It's not a 10 round fight. We're not going 10. We're going eight. What is it, Robbie? It what does the uh, scenic look like coming off the top of the Come on, you gotta keep that jab on. If you get in the long range, he ain't no in no trouble. Okay? Keep in long range, he ain't no trouble. You got me? Yeah. Keep that jab out there, he ain't no trouble. Keep the jab out of him, keep him out on the on the range that shit. You try to get inside some other try to infight. You don't want to stay, stay away from that pop, pop, pop. Put that jab out, keep the jab on him. Yeah, he ain't my side. Okay? Grease me. Okay, grease me. <laughs> okay, you all right? Seconds out, seconds out. We approach the third round. Round three. Round number three, heavyweight, Obed Sullivan, the 12th ranked heavyweight in the world, according to the IBF. Comes in with a record of 12, 1-1 one one with eight knockouts in the gold trunks. Goes up against Kenny Smith, who is 12-5 with seven knockouts. Smith, 25-year-old out of Bristol, Virginia. Obed at the age of 27. Now living in Phoenix, originally from uh, right here. In Northport, Mississippi. Come on, Danny. Don't get no sense of target, slow first round for these two heavyweights. In the second round, Sullivan picked it up a bit. That's where you move on. They pick it up here in the third round with Dan Kenny Smith back to the road. Get that one. I'll bet Sullivan keeps putting the pressure on here. Between rounds, they're telling Kenny Smith, Al Boulder, his man, saying, keep your distance. Give ground. Let him run into something. Kenny Smith out of Bristol, Tennessee. It's the Twin Cities. Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee. Long bridge. Bristol and Bristol. Long bridge. It would be a long bridge. Well, these two fighters kind of making a bridge between the early rounds to getting in the lane. And Obed Sullivan inside. Looking inside and also taking power off that right hand. See the power he has in that left hook now. Well, there's a power hook. Smith will not rise tonight in time. And that is it. So Ed Obed Smith, uh, Sullivan turns on a little steam here in the third, puts out Kenny Smith for his 13th victory against one defeat. And Smith has to be uh, helped, taken care of in that corner. They've got a bone in right now. He doesn't know whether he is in Bristol, Tennessee, or Bristol, Virginia. Bristol, Connecticut. Bristol, England. Bristol, England. Well, Kenny Smith just didn't have enough power to keep Obed Sullivan off of him. Obed Sullivan set the tempo in the pace. He started off slow and built to that third round like to really right pick up it up. Yeah, nice really going short, that third round for the KO. Nice. And here's nice. what he did. See the pressure, closing the gap, throwing the left hook to the body, doing a lot of da damage downstairs. But that is the punch that did much of the damage, the left uppercut. You know, it's, a, it's important for a fighter to have the versatility of being able to punch hard with the right hand and the left hand. There's why. Right hand hurt in the first round. That right hand landed. Pouring it on Obed Sullivan and this knockdown came from the left uppercut. Obed Sullivan looks poised much more than a fighter with only 14 fights. He only had 18 amateur fights. He's schooling. On his way, already ranked number 12 by the IBF, even though he's still fighting scheduled eight rounders, uh, but at 234 pounds, comes in nine pounds heavier than his last fight and really has to find his uh, range in weight. 
But he punches out Kenny Smith in three. That's the IBF Intercontinental belt, which he won back in June and uh, really had him explode onto the scene. Let's get the official time now. And here is Mark Vito. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. The winner by knockout, Obed Sullivan. Sullivan. Ninth knockout in 13 victories. Obed Sullivan trying to make his move into the heavyweight top 10. Now you can go home and go to Obed. Yeah. All right. There's a thriller. <coughs> yeah. Well, if you, if you, yeah. You know what? Though, I'd, like, I'd like to do that round over. We call. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. yeah it's fucked up. Yeah. The. Uh, yeah, I got slapped with the Bristol thing. That kind of Ladies and gentlemen, have out of my sheet, place. Bristol, Virginia. We still have uh, oh. more Why Bristol, Virginia? I don't know. It was on the original sheet. However, Oh. And I figured that, as you said, there's probably a bristle. I didn't even think twice of it. I figured Bristol's very common. Oh, man. We'll have our co feature and, of course, the championship fight that all of you have been waiting for featuring Bobby Chaz and Ricky Jackson. Yeah, I've been waiting for that one. This is going to be a long night, huh? With all these bouts afterwards. Oh. Yes, sir. With the Tuesday night fight. Yeah. Thank you. Whatever yeah. you want to do. Did you want to do something now? Okay. 